Now to a statue theft and an apparent change of heart, all captured on surveillance camera at a Chester County house. The thieves returned and they did not come empty handed. Eyewitness News reporter Shante Lands talked to the homeowners. Daisies, carnations, and lilies are what these homeowners received and a sorry note after someone returned their stolen statue. Dear owner of lions, we are greatly sorry for taking your lion. The note 15 year old Cecilia Bunn is reading is referring to this lion statue. Last Wednesday night, an outdoor surveillance camera captured two thieves dressed in sweats and hoodies picking up this 100 plus pound statue lion and stealing it off the front steps of this Westchester home on the 400 block of North Church Street. We were kind of shocked, but we were also laughing. Christina Bunn and her husband weren't home, but their youngest daughter, Cecilia, and nine year old guard dog, well, somewhat, named Roscoe, were around. I thought it was funny because um, I was home in my room when it happened. Reported it to police the next morning and I said, should I report it on social media? And he said, yeah, go ahead. His video made the rounds on Facebook and Twitter. 24 hours later, their surveillance cameras captured new footage. This time, what appears to be the same thieves in similar attire, returning the lion and placing flowers and a type apology note on the doorstep. I think that they were just trying to make things right, <laughs> quite honestly, you know. Yeah. Uh, it blew up in a way that I, I couldn't have ima imagined, and I think that they, they probably felt the same way. In their words, Cecilia reads, We meant this to be a harmless joke with no intentions of it going to this extent. In the note, they say they were planning to return the lion the whole time. We were just happy to get it back because we had a, a, you know, his twin missed him. <laughs> so uh, we finally got it back and uh, all's good. So much so that David Bunn makes them an offer. I don't know. Come knock on the door. Let's have a beer summit. <laughs> And police are still looking for the individuals who initially stole this statue. But like David Bunn said, no hard feelings. He's just waiting to see if they'll take him up on his offer. In Westchester, Shante Lands, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Shante, thank you.